This is Mission Control, Houston, Columbia. Altitude is now 90 miles above the Pacific Ocean to the north of the Hawaiian Islands. About uh, two minutes away from entering Earth's atmosphere. All activities continue to go smoothly en route toward a touchdown at the Kennedy Space Center at 8.16 a.m. Central Time. Columbia is currently targeted toward the runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, the runway selection continues to be discussed here in Mission Control, however, but uh, for its approach to runway 33, Columbia would perform a right overhead turn to align with the runway of about 214 degrees around the heading alignment cylinder, an imaginary cylinder created by the microwave landing system for the shuttle that uh, assists in guiding it to for its final approach. Columbia's altitude now 71 statute miles as it uh, enters Earth's atmosphere above the Pacific Ocean en route to, to the Kennedy Space Center. Its speed uh, 17,000 miles per hour. Columbia with wings level and nose angled up about 40 degrees to control heating as it descends into the atmosphere. Its altitude now 68 miles. As uh, Columbia descends into the atmosphere and approaches the continental United States, it'll perform the first in a series of four banks it performs as it approaches the Kennedy Space Center. The first bank to the right, then back to the left, then back to the right, and then a final bank to the left as it approaches Kennedy and the shuttle landing facility runway those designed to dissipate speed for the shuttle as it descends into the atmosphere toward landing. Just under 30 minutes to touchdown for Columbia now, altitude 64 miles.
Columbia's course toward Florida will take it across the continental United States, crossing the California coast above the San Francisco Bay Area and continuing across Sacramento, California, providing a uh, spectacular view for persons in that area of Columbia's descent through the atmosphere. That uh, observation of the shuttle would begin about 5.51 a.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, and continue for about four minutes till 5.55 a.m. Pacific Time with the shuttle at an elevation of about 78 degrees. It'll be visible as well through much of the United States Southwest above uh, southern Nevada and uh, northern Arizona and uh, central New Mexico as it continues its descent through the atmosphere, uh, trailing a plasma trail uh, left as it heats the atmosphere around it uh, during its descent. Columbia's altitude now 54 miles as it continues to descend into the atmosphere. Wings level, nose angled up 40 degrees to control heating. Columbia is traveling about 17,000 miles per hour. Columbia's altitude, 48 statute miles as it begins the first in a series of four banks to dissipate speed as it uh, descends into the atmosphere. Banking to the right now, a steep bank of 60 degrees and approaching uh, the west coast of the United States. Columbia's speed, 16,620 miles per hour. Range to touchdown at the Kennedy Space Center runway, 3,450 statute miles. Columbia in almost an 80 degree bank to the right uh, to dissipate speed. The first of four banks it performs as it uh, approaches Florida to slow down as it descends. Altitude now 47 miles or about 248,000 feet. The shuttle speed is 16,400 miles per hour. Aboard the shuttle on the flight deck are Commander Rick Husband and Pilot Willie McCool, Flight Engineer Kapana Chavla, and uh, Mission Specialist Laurel Clark. On the lower deck of the shuttle for entry, our Payload Commander Mike Anderson, Mission Specialist David Brown, and Payload Specialist from the Israel Space Agency, Alon Ramon.